The legendary rock band U2 won't let the terrorists have the last word in Paris. Last night, they and others answered the bombs and bullets with guitars, drums, and harmony. Here's Mark Phillips. We are all Parisians tonight. It was much more than a concert. It was an affirmation that life goes on, and it was a tribute to those whose lives had been ended. The victims' names were projected overhead to form the French flag. Bono, departing from U2's usual material, sang the never more fitting Jacques Brel classic, Ne me quitte pas. Ne me quitte pas. Don't leave me. It was an emotional evening, and there was more to come. One band more than any other has been sucked into the bloody history of that night. It was the California band, the Eagles of Death Metal, who were on stage at the Bataclan Concert Hall when the killers murdered 90 of their fans. Would you welcome the Eagles of Death Metal? Now the band was back in town. They hadn't played since the night of the attacks, and their first number, People Have the Power, had a new and special meaning here. People have the power! The power of rock and roll. The band's lead singer, Jesse Hughes. We, know we love you too so much for giving us this opportunity. I look around and I see, how do I say it? Knows how me, our friends. The band that found itself in the middle of a tragedy, now part of the healing process that has followed. A process that, more than three weeks later, took them back to the Bataclan. There's more healing still to come. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.